This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. In this video, I wanna show you guys a quick demo tour of my new Shifter version two script. This is a huge update to the version one script with a lot of new features and functionality that I think you guys will really enjoy using in your motion design projects and your projects in general. And this is a name your own price script, so you can pretty much pay whatever you want for this script, whatever you want. And if you really like this script and you find it very useful, feel free to buy me a coffee or something. But I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the features and some of the new stuff in Shifter version two. And so basically this script allows you to pretty much offset a lot of things in your projects. It's very useful for things like motion design and motion graphics where you have a lot of layers and you kind of want to just make them not as perfect. You want to shift things in time, keyframes, whatever. Um, so this script can do that now. So basically we have the ability to pretty much offset layers and we can do that by using the selection order. So if I select this layer and then this layer, it's going to, you know, operate in that order here, or we can do a random. So selected and we'll, you know, we can apply a linear offset, which is, you know, what it is now. And we'll offset up by three frames and hit stagger. And it's going to stagger my boring animation to something like this. So now we have some, you know, quick variation here and it just shifted the layers in a linear fashion. One of the new features of version two is that you have the ability to ease things in. So, you know, linear has always been there. It offsets things in a linear fashion every three frames. Um, but we can actually ease this in. So we can go for an expo ease here. Same thing, go ahead and hit stagger. And you're gonna see that it's kind of gonna create this really nice ease, ease in and ease out here. So you're gonna see a huge difference here. And, you know, if you just wanted to ease out, you can do that too. You can ease out, hit stagger, and you're gonna see this nice ease. Um, and then you can control the intensity here. So a quad is not as intense. Um, your cubic's a little bit more intense. A quint is a little bit more intense. And expo is very, very intense. And this is more obvious when you have uh, more layers here. But as you can see, the ease is more gradual. So now you can offset layers in a nice ease fashion instead of a linear fashion. This is dramatic because um, it will add more life and more variation um, and fluidity to your motion design projects and your offsets here. So that's one thing you can do. And of course you can offset randomly in your layer stack. It's just gonna do it randomly here, just like that. And I guess easing doesn't really matter when you're doing um, random here. Um, so now, and of course you can always trim the start of the layers. So rather than moving layers, you're just going to trim the start um, endpoints of it so that things kind of occur at different starting points. And of course, you can trim uh, the ends here, just like this. So you're not moving it, you're just cutting it from the end. So it could be pretty useful for a lot of things here. Um, so now we have the ability to offset keyframes, and this is kind of a major request that we get a lot from um, a lot of people here. So basically we have these, right? Um, so normally we would just offset the layers, but let's say you wanted the layers to stay the same. You just wanted to offset the keyframes. We can now do that easily using the offset keyframes um, selection mode. So it's like all of our keyframes we want to shift and go ahead and hit shift. And as you can see, all the scale keyframes have shifted, but the layers itself has stayed the same. And this can be useful for a lot of applications here. And you can ease the keyframes shifting as well. So very, very useful. Offset property is very interesting here. So basically you can offset any, pretty much any property that you want. So let's say, you know, you wanted to offset, you know, the opacity here. And we want to, let's set, let's set them all to zero percent opacity. And let's say I want to go down the list here from here to here. And each time I want to increment, you know, each opacity by four. So what we can do is since this is a single value property, we're going to use the first field here. And we're going to go for linear for now, just to kind of show you what's going on. Make sure all the opacities are selected. And then go ahead and hit stagger. And you can see what it did here. So the starting opacity is zero, it's untouched, and it's gonna go from four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So it's pretty much offsetting, you know, the property, the opacity property in this case, um, by four. And so you can do that. You can also ease it. 
Um, if it's, you know, multi-dimensional like position, you can actually offset the X, Y, Z position separately and, you know, offset it by a certain amount and you can apply easing to it. So it's really, really powerful if you want to, you know, just shift things in position um, and, you know, move things around, shift things in scale or scale things up procedurally um, on your layer stack. So you can also do that. And um, finally, you have sequence layers. Um, this is in version one. So basically, you can just kind of sequence your layers um, right next to each other as a sequence. So just like this, or we can go and just offset it by zero. So we'll undo this and offset it by zero frames in a gap. And it's going just to sequence one layer at a time with no gaps in between. Um, so this is going to be useful for certain applications where you want one thing to occur and then the next thing to occur in sequential order. Um, so yeah, so the biggest thing about Dutcher Shifter is that you can now pretty much shift keyframes, um, better offset property support. You have this powerful easing option, which will now breathe a lot more life into your offsets and a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that. Um, again, this is a name your own price script that will, I think, really be helpful for your motion graphics and designs and other things that you want to do. Basically, if you have a lot of layers that you want to control and you want to offset and make, you know, random and randomized values and randomized, you know, property values and randomized keyframes and just shift things around to make it look more organic and natural, Dojo Shifter is going to be the script for you. Um, you know, perfectly free to try out. Um, and of course, you can offset things based on frames as well as seconds here. You know, great update. Check it out over at creativedojo.net. Uh, so check it out. This is Dojo Shifter version two. Before I go, I want to thank our quick sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only platform to make an amazing website, whether it's for your online store, business, or portfolio. They are the place to be to create amazing websites. They have amazing, beautiful themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without any coding experience required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, you can use the promo code DOJO at checkout to save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So this is pretty much Dojo Shifter version two, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new update. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time.